Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. And it's time to feel good with our friend Lee Grigsby. Welcome back today. How are you? I am doing fantastic, Jill. Happy Tuesday to you and all of our listeners. Happy Tuesday, our life coach. And what does it say? Get what? Get it in. Are you a golfer? <laughs> uh, no, that's more of a gym. <laughs> oh, all right, get yeah. it in, get it done. All right, got it, got it. Lee, right. please say hello. Introduce yourself and your company to everyone. Would love to. Uh, hey, everybody. Um, my name is Lee Grigsby. I am the founder and health and life coach for Live All Good Coaching. You can visit my website at liveallgood.com. You can reach me at liveallgood, the number 44, at gmail.com. You could call or text at 202-455-6104. And please check me out on social media as well. Live All Good Coaching, that's Facebook and Instagram. And you can also find me, Lee Grigsby, on Facebook. Well, I guess we should call it Meta. Is yep. that right? Since it's not I Facebook, know. Meta. I know, Meta. it's confusing, right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, well, welcome. So what's the one, you start off, you say, it's, what's the one good thing? How do you say it? Because I can't you, say that, it. I Why love don't you it. go I love first? It. Go ahead. <laughs> sure. So we always like to start with what is going well, what's working, um, and the reason we do that, and I will go first, is because it starts to really train the brain to think positive and to focus on the positive. So that's why we do that. Um, so let's see. This week, it actually, I have to tell you, um, it's been a bit of a rough week, not for me directly, but we got some family members. My, uh, my niece's uh, oldest has COVID, tested, tested mm-hmm. positive, Okay. Every, everybody's doing fine. Everybody's okay. okay. Uh, low grade fever, like super low grade fever. So they're all good. But the frustrating part for them uh, as young parents and for the five-year-old is having to quarantine, you know? Yeah. So um, again, the positive is that everybody's doing fine. But what I want to say is the positive is I have reached a point where we could come up with a plan and I'm able to help them in a way that it, they can miss work without having to worry about it. Mm. So I'm, I'm, I'm thankful and happy that I've reached a point where I could help them financially so that they can go ahead and stay home with the five-year-old quarantine, all that kind of stuff. That's the positive. That's wow, the positive. that is so nice. Wow. Yeah. And where do Absolutely. they live, by the way? They are in Ohio. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh They're goodness. in Ohio. So again, and, and I know that this, you know, folks may not think of that as a positive, right? But I do want to stress that, yeah, we're all dealing with this virus still, right? It's getting um, worse in New York. We're back to masks. Do you know about yeah, that? I heard about that. I heard what, about what's, it. What's happening in your state? Is that, well, well, unfortunately, I'm not in the state. I'm in DC. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but, but but the same same thing. So they had relaxed some of the things, um, but they have gone back to that. I will tell you that I'm I'm fully vaccinated. I'm going to go get a booster shot. Me but too. I wear I wear a mask even in the gym. Um, because here's the thing, right? And and this is for anybody listening. This is not about vaccinated unvaccinated. We're not, I'm not here to judge people. That is not my goal. My goal is do what you feel is necessary to protect yourself and your family. Mm -hmm. Because I've listened to other people who have chosen not to get vaccinated. And that is your right, you know? So I don't want anyone to feel judged Mm -hmm. for what their choice is. I just want people to understand, make your choice for what is important and best for you and your family. That's what you have to do. Yeah, here in New York, by the way, now as of today, I have Mm -hmm. a six-year-old. He's not allowed to be in a restaurant unless he's vaccinated now. 
Oof. That's a little extreme. I'm just going to say that's for the New York City area. I live on Long Island, but thank God mm-hmm. we just had tickets to a show um, three, how many, a few days ago, last Thursday, right? In the mm-hmm. city. And if it happened to be this week, he wouldn't have been able to go. You'd have, like anyone mm. for Broadway shows, restaurants now, even as Anywhere. a child, you have to be. Mm. So that I will not agree with because that's a little too extreme for the children. The adults are one thing, but mm-hmm. all right. So that's what's happening. And we're all back. Absolutely. To mass, which is just. I'm- yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I am, but I'm actually going to get my son a vaccination. I just haven't done it yet. And I got well, to like, wow, thing too. it's like, wow, within with- a week, by the way, next week, you know, no one's allowed, but what about people living in the city and their kids aren't vaccinated? It's like, mm-hmm. and they have tickets and they have shows and they have events and they have holiday parties and they can't go now. It's just, and now you're, you're isolating people again. And that's, that was yeah. one of the things that they were dealing with, right. With their five-year-old, mm-hmm. like he's got to be isolated in the room mm-hmm. while they have a, they have a three-year-old as well. He's in the other room with them mm-hmm. and poor five-year-old can only you know, come out to eat or, you know, so, uh, I get it. I yeah. get it hundred percent, but, but now it's your turn. What's positive <laughs> for you? <laughs> okay, mine is not as good as yours. I, what's positive for me. Look, the truth is I got sure. to clean out, you know, I'm big into cleaning um, my spare room since I've moved in this house four and a half months ago, four and a half years ago, I still had bins of stuff, which by the way, I'm also housing Santa's gifts. So it's now old bins and old I won't tell. I won't tell. And all the packages and bags. So my son's father picked up the kids. I had eight hours and I opened up every present. I hit it. I cleaned the whole room, cleaned all the bins, all the old stuff, threw it away that I didn't need yes. and washed the, the, the bed that I couldn't see because everything's on top of the bed, the comfort mm-hmm. of the pillow. So I had me time and me time consists of cleaning and organizing. And I feel great. Didn't finish decorating though, but I had to make a sacrifice, but (laughs) no, that, you know what? You hit the nail on the head on something very, very important, right? So there's an exercise. I like to call it clearing the clutter. And we may have mentioned this before, Mm -hmm. right? But that's so important. If you don't do that and the the physical space that you cleared, how did you feel after you did that? Because now I'm like, okay, I can actually have someone sleep in this bed in this room. It's a spare room. Yes. Yes. And there's stuff all over the bed. It's it's grown. It was disgusting. But it's all clean now. Everything's even dusted and the, the it's beautiful. There's a TV in there. It's I so love nice. It. It's like, and, okay, I want to sleep in this bed. <laughs> and now you can also so you cleared the physical space. Mm-hmm. You visibly and physically felt different, mm-hmm. but mentally that open space for new things for new experiences and yes the next unorganized thing in my house my closets are stacked high oh and the garage yes. then the garage <laughs> i gotta wait till next year i missed the boat on the garage it's too cold now but yeah and then the decorating i could finish so i'm good i feel so i love much it better wait and then so i have bins in the attic of kids kids clothes i saved all my kids clothes thinking that okay i'm going to um use them again if i have a kid <laughs> am i really no? i have bins of clothes size zero to like five and i'm like gotta clear the cl- mm, I can't wait after so the holidays that's my next big goal we have to go over our action step then uh jill so <laughs> the action step was to pick out a few things i know i haven't had time to even go back to pick out the few things <laughs> well you got to write it down you got to write down what the things are that you want to do mm-hmm. and then you'll get to it but you said after the holidays i love it that, ha- now, yeah, that- if you hadn't if you hadn't cleared that bedroom mm. you wouldn't have the capacity to even think Oh, what's next? Yep. I'm excited. Oh. I, what can I get to next? Exactly. Absolutely. Oops, hold on, we have a caller. Hi, oh. welcome to the show. You're live on the line. Who's this? Hi, my name is Betty. Hi, Betty. How Hello, you doing? Betty. Good. How are you? Good. Please ask any questions you may have. Okay. Uh, my question is, I've been seeing a therapist for quite some time now. Uh, I just wanted to know, what is the difference between having a life coach, life coach versus a uh, therapist? Absolutely. And, and uh, Betty, first of all, thank you for calling. And I want to acknowledge you for actually taking the time to have to go see a therapist as well. Well, job well done. Mental health is important. The mm-hmm. difference between a therapist and a coach or a life coach, a lot of times in therapy and therapists, they will deep really go really deep with your past. Okay. 
they will take as much time as you need in order to sort through your past, uncover things from your past, and see how it relates to what you've been doing in the present. The difference with life coaching is that while we deal with more of where you are right now and into the future, some things may come up from your past while we are going through your present actions and what serves you. So that's really the main difference, right? Um, but I will say this, life coaches and therapists definitely work hand in hand. It's like mm -hmm. a team. So if you're looking for another team member, Betty, reach out, let me know what we can do. <laughs> and Betty, if you don't right, mind asking, I mean, it, you don't have to be too personal, but what in particular are you thinking of talking about? Do you have any personal questions for Lee or you don't have to get personal, but uh, what is it that you need help with if you want to share? Um, well, I was just going for like anxiety and stuff like that. Hmm. Okay, well, Betty, I, I would actually love to have a discovery session with you because there are many tools that, uh, as a coach, I could help you learn that would go hand in hand with anything that you learn in therapy as well. You might even find a lot of similar things, and it's just one more reinforcement to help you with that. Oh, okay. Absolutely. All right, I, thank you. Yeah, feel free to email or call. It's uh, live all good, the number 44 at gmail.com. Or if you want to call or text, it's 202 455 6104. Perfect. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for calling, Betty. And 631317 is the line. Let me also ask anxiety. Is that something big that you're dealing with today? I mean, so mm -hmm. many of us have anxiety, and let alone this pandemic is so full of I'm, anxiety. Yeah. I'm sure it's starting to ramp up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting. I was going to mention this um, earlier before we started talking about other stuff, but one of the big, biggest tools, the easiest tool is to really slow down. Okay. To slow down. So a lot of times when anxiety starts to build up, it's from the unknown, mm -hmm. right? It's from something that you've gotten into your, you've gotten into some information. Mm -hmm. but now you've kind of gotten into your own head with different scenarios of what could happen, okay. what True. might happen. So the, a, a really good technique is to slow down so that you can begin to process what is happening uh -huh. and not go too far ahead with what could happen or what might happen. Okay. And I know it, I it sounds, yep. okay. yeah, it sounds simple, but, but a lot of us don't slow down. We will continue to look for information to try to calm our minds down. But the deeper you go down the rabbit hole, the more information you oh, find yeah. that makes you more anxious. Oh, yeah, <laughs> for sure. You got me thinking. All right. So before I forgot what we were talking about exactly before the caller called in about anxiety. Um, you got me anxious. Yeah, no, I, I, I lost the train of thought, too. Right, I don't know. But. But here we go. So, right, Theory we're talking mind, about anxiety. Space. We were That's, talking. Oh, yeah. We were talking about how that affects you mentally. Okay. Um, but, but you know what? I'd like to go down this road with slowing down because okay. it, it's different aspects. You can, mm -hmm. so physically, when you're talking about slowing down, for anyone who is, um, has been in the gym, right, and you start to really slow down to control the movement, that's when you're actually getting the best benefit. Okay. If you see people, you know, flying through an exercise, okay, it might work a little bit, but slowing down gives you a great benefit. Okay. Same thing when we're talking about eating, right? Okay. Slowing down, yeah. using your senses, tasting the food, uh, you know, really like using your sense of smell. What is it? What are those smells you get? If you don't slow down to do that, you won't enjoy the food or then be an optimal digestion. And you'll overeat. <laughs> yeah, that, and they, there you go. And you won't yeah, overeat. Yeah. yeah Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, when you talk about mentally, right? Even though I mentioned it again, I'll say it or mentioned it before, I'll say it again. When you're talking about anxiety, you can get so, so deeply wrapped up in your own thoughts and so deeply wrapped up in everything you're reading, everything you're. Oh, excuse me, everything you're seeing, right? Mm -hmm. 
it's it is difficult sometimes to pull yourself back and kind of take a time out so that you can process wait a minute how do i feel about the present moment if the present moment is going well the present moment is okay and stable you don't want to project what you think is going to happen or what again what might happen that's the future so you don't have to be anxious about it because that has not happened yet mm-hmm. if you stay in the present slow down don't don't go three four steps ahead just yet take take care of the present because it's the present that builds the future okay mm-hmm. so you you take take care of your or thoughts and self care also comes along with anxiety too so if it's um there's one scent i think that goes along with it's um oh i forget the scent but it helps calm you down um, lavender that's it oh, my peppermint. <laughs> lavender yeah lavender yes so there are uh, folks who use essential oils right with the um the vaporizers and that kind of thing it puts it into the misters that might help calm your anxiety down there are breathing techniques there's mm-hmm. one that i work with people on call it a 557 right where you breathe in for 5 seconds you hold it for 5 seconds then you exhale for 7 so that's kind of a deep breathing technique like through your gut right not in your chest so i'll show you real quick i know yeah, we're on video at the moment, but yeah yeah <laughs> so when you breathe through your chest what happens is you breathe in your chest, but your shoulders get tight, right? You raise everything. When you breathe deeply through your, your belly, it's a bigger expansion, but less stress on your upper body. Okay. So take a, a five second breath, hold it for five seconds, and then breathe out for seven because those extra seconds helps to dissipate any extra stress. That is a physiological thing that actually happens. So you can, you can de-stress yourself in two minutes by okay. doing this exercise. <laughs> I'm having trouble with the exercise yeah. for seven seconds. I'm like, <laughs> I got a breath. It's, it, takes, it takes a moment to go through it. Um, you, you, it's more of a controlled exhale. Because I, I remember the first time I tried it, you almost kind of like pass out. You're like, wait, what am I doing? Yeah, you got to really <laughs> you're think trying about to, it. Yeah. Yeah. But thank you. Are you, you. Are you sure you're not part of my coaching team? Uh, we have another call coming in. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Sure. Hello. Welcome to the show. You're live on the line with Lee Grigsby. Who's this? Uh, hi, this is James Jules. Hi. How are you doing today? Hey, good James. Jules, good. Lee's here. Talk to me. Yeah. So basically, like, I've gained a lot of, I've gained a decent amount of weight during COVID. I've been barely eating. I find, like, I've been going to the gym, do everything I can. But I find it difficult to regulate the healthy eating lifestyle and how to mm-hmm. normalize a healthy diet. Like, what would be your best advice to do that? Man, uh, James, you know what, Will James? Um, join the club because I understand that. I've done that, too. Um, first, I want to offer you that I would love to have a discovery session with you and, and dive into this further to see how, how we can work together. Um, but to answer your question uh, right now as well, you know, I would say let's come up with a plan of are you eating when you're bored? Are you eating when you're distracted? Are you, you know, or do you find yourself walking in the kitchen like, oh, man, you know what? Now what do I want to do? You know? That's, that's one thing that you can be, you can become aware of, right? Another thing that I want you to be aware of, James, is what's your water intake like? I I take about one bottle a day. I don't drink that much water. I know I've been, a lot of people have told me I should drink at least a gallon a day, but like, it's really (laughs) hard to keep up with one gallon a day. Well, James, I'm going to give you a super secret ninja tip right now. Right now. Are you ready? You ready for it? Yes, I'm ready. All right, man. Well, you know what? Don't worry about drinking a gallon. Okay? Here's what I, here's what I want yeah. you to do. I want you to, when you wake up, drink. try to drink an eight-ounce glass of water when you wake up. 
then later on through the day, we, like maybe, you know, right before lunch, go ahead and drink another eight ounce glass of water. Okay. Yeah. Then maybe as you're going through your day and you want a snack, right? Yeah. You're like, ah, oh, you know what? I'm going to reach for, you know, maybe a handful of chips or maybe a little bag, something like that. I want you to drink another eight ounce glass of water. Okay. So yeah. that's already three times you'll have had a glass of water. So then let's move through your day again, right? You get into the, the afternoon, late afternoon, you reach in for that another snack. Okay. Maybe this time you go ahead and, and grab a candy bar, right? And I'm not saying you are, I'm just, you know, for, for example, yeah. you grab a candy bar. Guess what I want you to do? Have a glass of water. Glass of water. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Have another glass of water, right? So now let's move into the evening. You're getting ready for dinner. Guess what I want you to do? Eat dinner and then get another glass of water. My man, James, you see, that's that's the way, man. You don't want to have to carry around. If that's not going to work for you, carrying around a gallon jug, then don't do it. But if you start sneaking in those little glasses of water throughout the day, you will have drink more water than you know. Mm -hmm. And so also, man, I want you to think about this. The next time you think you're hungry, actually drink water because you're probably a little bit more dehydrated, dehydrated yeah. and your body wants the water, but it, you can confuse it for being hungry. I see what you mean. Does that make I, sense, man? I, yeah, it makes sense. I'm going to start it this week. Uh, man, tomorrow, James. Honestly. <laughs> that, yes. Yes. Tomorrow. No, why wait? Why wait? Exactly. Yeah. 100%. Awesome. Because I want hey, to get those abs by the summer, you know? That, well, oh, oh, you want to? Oh, hey, James, man, you know what? I would love to have a discovery session with you. So you can email me at livealgood, the number 44 at gmail.com, or please okay. text or call at 202 455 6104. I would love to work okay. with you and see how I could support you in this, man. All right, awesome. I'm um, wait, so livealgood at gmail.com. Live all good, the number 44 at gmail.com. Live all good, for, live all good 44 at gmail.com. And the number is? The number is 202-455-6104. Two, two, okay. Six, 6104. Six, Hi. Thank you. I'm going to send you an email. I look forward to working with you. Awesome, man. Great to talk to you, James. Thanks for calling. Well, thank you. Well, have a nice day, guys. Thank you. You too. You too. You too. Six three one three one seven one two nine one. If you have any questions, and again, I forgot where we left off, but I can tell you this: I got my water. <laughs> I I just took a sip too. <laughs> You're making me. He should tape his, like, go around the house and put like little water bottles, like tape it next to all the snacks, like any food that he eats during the day, like put the water, like tape it. <laughs> Absolutely, man. You but it you makes have you to. Full. It's also and you the trick. set the con, you set the condition, right? Yeah. You set the condition for inevitable success, not oh. just success. Inevitable, inevitable success. success. Absolutely, absolutely. That's the way you do it. Wow, oh. that was that was awesome. I'm glad. I'm I'm glad uh, he called in. It, like he sounded excited to try something different. Yeah. That, that's the beauty and of that's, that. And that's, and especially around this time of year, we're all eating more. So, yeah, I know that feeling, man. So, <laughs> it starts Absolutely. with Thanksgiving and it's been, yeah, I've already gained a few pounds and say, I just can't help it. It's a downhill. It's like that one weekend you just start completely. But right, I'm like, oh, I'll be better and, you know, come the new year. But, 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 but anyway, enough about me. So that's, that's why you, that's why you got to start now. Don't I wait know. till the new year. I that's know. it. I'm That's more of it. a bulker upper for the uh, winter and then I unbulk. <laughs> nice. Nice. No, but I'm just genetically naturally lucky. I don't gain that much weight period. Like I'll gain like 10 pounds maybe during the winter. If, if that, maybe five, but I, I, I call it bulking too. Yeah. So <laughs> that's why I have to have to go to the gym. Yeah. 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 That's why your shirt says what? Get, <laughs> get it in, get, get it in. in. Like, you go to the gym. All right. So what else do we have on store for us? Uh, you know what? I, I say we, we tap into mindset a little bit. Right. Since we had to call with James, 
Mm-hmm. That is a big deal. He, he wanted to find the difference of, he's like, man, you know, I listen to people. Um, everybody tells me I should drink a gallon of water, right? There's a ton of information everywhere. But the one thing that people, I think, get lost with is where do I start and what works best for me? Mm-hmm. So that is where a coach like myself can come in. And what we want to do is we, we sift through all that information for you and then help you build a plan that is specific to you mm-hmm. and your goals. So that's what mindset is about. He sounded like he's ready to do something, right? But didn't know, didn't know where to start, didn't know what to do. And he's like, yeah, I can't drink a gallon of water. Yeah, well, guess what? Neither can I. Yeah. But if you do it throughout the day, guess what? You drink a gallon of water, you know? Mm-hmm. But if you don't know that, if you don't have somebody say, hey, try this, right? This is what works for me. You know, you might have some people, there are people who take the gallon of water around with them. Yeah. And that works for them. <laughs> See the line on it going down. That, yeah, right, yeah. right, right, right. I had a friend in college that did it. I'm like, and he was like into like the gym and working out. He would bring his food. He'd bring two gallons, <laughs> two jugs. And I'm like, oh, boom, 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 boom. But, but you know what? He, he looked good. So I guess it worked. <laughs> and that worked for him. That worked for him. Absolutely. I saw a guy at the gym the other day. Same thing. Mm-hmm. Gallon jug, you know? You, so yeah, but you got to find what works for you. What do, we just mentioned, inevitable success. You got to set those conditions. If you, you know what? Everybody wants to eat. How do you eat a whole elephant, Jill? How do you do that? I don't know. Is is this a trick? I don't know this answer. No no trick to it. No trick to it. Okay. How do you eat a whole elephant? Cut it up in pieces? Yes. One bite at a time. Oh, okay. I'm like, like, this is a trick. It's a joke. I'm bad at jokes. I'm like. No, not a joke. Not a joke. So if you try to eat the whole elephant, in one bite no. is that going to work no of course not <laughs> and 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 folks we're mm-hmm. not really eating elephants i promise mm-hmm. we're okay yep, no yep. no real elephants were harmed in this process mm-hmm. <laughs> but that's the point if you want to eat the whole elephant you gotta have it in bite-sized pieces okay and then before you know it whole elephant is gone you mm-hmm. know you're right but you you cannot take it's one big bite baby steps, yeah Okay. Absolutely. So bites, again, bites. <laughs> going back to going back to your example, right? Your example was awesome because you've got a chunk of time, but you were able to clear out yeah. and dust and clean, right? Oh, that was that one baby. I love it. Look, look how you felt. The energy that comes from that, right? The energy that comes from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how do you keep that going? How do you raise that frequency I gotta t- and have t- that more and more. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Yeah. And that's what happens, right? Like that's what gets you into that frame of mind. Like, oh yes, I feel good now. I've accomplished something. I've mm-hmm. done this. Not only a physical space, but now mentally, you're so much more available you're to right. have fun with your kids, sure. you know, and yeah. whatever they're going to do, whatever the holiday brings. You're much more, you won't be preoccupied with, no. I wish I could clean that room. No. So, no, no. so that, you know, maybe, maybe the kids want to have a sleepover. I don't know. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Now there's, there's space an extra room <laughs> or my cousins on Christmas, they might, may want to sleep over from, yeah, yeah. So that's, there you go. Now it's clean. Yeah. I have to feel pressure to say no. Cause like, I'm like, the room's a mess. <laughs> You're like, well, maybe you can stay down the street. They're renting a room. No, see now they can stay. Yeah. But think, feel, think of the energy that comes with it, right? There's no negative energy that Feels comes good. with that. Feels good. Absolutely. One step at a time. That's all it takes. One step at a time. Absolutely. And like, you know, when you work with someone, tell us the process, tell us how it works, how long of a program, give us some of the basics, if you don't mind. I may know a sure. little bit. Okay. No, no, absolutely. And I, and I will definitely share since we've had a few callers today too. So typically, um, you, you guys may have heard me inviting them to a discovery call. Yeah. So that's how we start. We start with a discovery session to really take a, a go into the service a little bit, take a closer look at what you want to achieve, at some of your goals, how you want to get there. 
once we do that, we sign up for what is typically a 90 day program Mm -hmm. through that 90 day program. We start working on the things that will serve you in getting to the results of your goal. Okay. A lot of it is built around awareness and the actions that serve or do not serve that goal. Mm -hmm. And we start uncovering, okay, how can we piece by piece? Yep. Do the actions that serve it more frequently. That's Mm -hmm. how that works. And so then after 90 days, you have gotten some results from reaching your goals. But typically what happens is along that process, you start finding out, oh, wait, I want to do this. Or I can apply it to another goal. You start Mm -hmm. finding out new things and we go ahead and sign up again and we keep working together. That's how it works. And then before you know it, you're like, oh, Lee, I don't need you anymore. And I'm like, well, no, you need, I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah, you got to yeah. make them yeah. be independent, to become butterflies on their own, to grow and to fly away in a sense. But um, absolutely, absolutely. Um, that is the goal. And just what do you love most about your work? Oh my gosh. Um, Jill, you know what? Mm-hmm. You actually heard it today. When I hear the excitement mm-hmm. from someone I work with, when they have not just achieved a, even a small step, right? Mm-hmm but they've recognized it and acknowledged themselves for it. Like I'm, I I will be your biggest cheerleader all the time, all the time. That is the most fulfilling thing. Being able to serve like my fellow humans in a way that helps them not just, Oh, here, here's a book, read this or yeah. You know what? I did this. This will work for you too. It's not one size fits all. It really is um, like I can't put it into words, but it is really amazing when people start to put themselves first and realize that that's a good thing. Wow. It's that's super fulfilling. Absolutely. And it feels good. Absolutely. It feels man. good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Maybe have a new theme song. All right. <laughs> nice. Nice. It's possible. <laughs> All right. So, um, in closing today, let me give you the platform. Mm. Any advice for us? Are we speaking next week? In, any advice? I'm sorry. Say that one. Are we? Time. Are we? Are we then, on next week oh, talking yes. as well? Oh, okay. okay. Yes, we are. So, yes, anything are. you want to point? Let's sum up today's conversation. Let's inspire people today, as you sure. do. What do you want to end with? And then if you want to give us a, you know, a little teaser, like you told us, like to be more aware of like, remember we talked, was that last week? I don't remember. That was a couple. I do remember that. Yeah. That was about being aware of how our thoughts and we're thinking about people like all men drive this way. So like that was last week. Yeah. Was it? Sure. Yeah. And I totally forgot. And we didn't even talk about it, but that was, my gosh. okay. (laughs) What else should we be more conscious of this week? So I, you know what, I think let's, let's put a bow on this, right? Mm -hmm. I think that was awesome for the callers to really call in and try to figure out what the difference was between therapy and coaching. Mm -hmm. They go hand in hand, but the one thing I want people to come away with and work on for next week is slowing down. Okay. Really is slowing down, right? Again, we talked about mentally, physically, emotionally, slow down and process what's going on okay. because if you don't take the time to process it you're just going to keep piling on keep piling on All right. and before you know it you burn out so yeah. slow down and let me know how slowing down works for you next week or what is it is that is the song cool it now or slow it down <laughs> make me think of all songs all right we'll do that now i love it how new addition. Get in touch with you lee give us all forms of contact please Absolutely. You can always start with uh, heading to my site, uh, liveallgood.com. You can reach out to me through email, liveallgood, the number 44 at gmail.com. You can call, you can text at 202-455-6104. You can definitely find me on social media. I know we said meta, Facebook, Instagram, Live All Good Coaching. Yeah, right. Or you can find me at Lee Grigsby on Facebook. Are you Absolutely. on Twitter or is Twitter out of it? Day? Uh, I, I, I am Twitter, on Twitter, but, I barely but use it. not I mean, I so use much it, for coaching. I don't even, see, I don't even know. Yeah. Like, I just like post all three places. Like, <laughs> all right. Anyway, Lee Grigsby. You, you, yeah. I was, I was, I was, I was, hey, you know what I do on Twitter? I actually 
tweet the city about what they don't do here in DC. So (laughs) thank you, Lee. Have a great day. You too, Jill. Always a pleasure. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house. And there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's It's going to be okay.